You sort of piqued my interest when you talked about some of the faith leaders saying it's good to have open borders. We want to help people. They genuinely believe that. And as a, and I'll just say, pardon me for people in the audience who aren't Catholic. I spend some time as a faithful Catholic trying to explain what Pope Francis sometimes says on the issue. What, for example, the Catholic Bishop of San Antonio said recently, which sort of condemned political conservatives who adhere to the rule of law in this. And I just want to say for politically conservative Roman Catholics in our teaching, which is a shared teaching across Christianity and in most parts of Judaism, the rule of law is vital to a civil society actually being able to provide to the poor and the indigent. There is no way the United States can continue to do that, to, to come full circle here from a comment about a specific faith teaching that's influential on this issue. If we're going to continue to do this, we are disrupting lives. We're actually costing lives, as you pointed out, because of the human trafficking, because of the fentanyl. I'm going to stop there because I get pretty wound up about this because people see these very thoughtful men. They see very thoughtful faith leaders from other denominations, other faiths, and they say, man, I sort of feel guilty for thinking that the United States should protect its border. Given your experience, you know that that's actually the most humane thing to do. 